In this video, we'll determine the instantaneous rate of change for a polynomial. The polynomial given is y equals x cubed minus x squared plus x minus 1. And the question says, find the slope of the tangent at x equals 3. The word tangent for us is going to be synonymous with IROC, or instantaneous rate of change. The formula for instantaneous rate of change is f at x plus h minus f at x all over h. You'll want to learn this formula. Notice that it's very similar to the IROC formula. And for us, h is always going to be 0 0.001. We're looking for the slope of the tangent at x equals 3. So we want to know what's f at x. Oh, I just said x equals 3. So we want to know what's f at 3 plus 0 0.001 minus f at 3 all over 0 0.001. In advanced functions, that's how we approximate the tangent or the slope of the tangent for a polynomial or for any function. So really we're looking at f, for f at 3.001 minus f at 3 all over 0 0.001. Some people ask me, could you go right from here to here? Sure, I'm just showing it for the video purposes. Let's calculate f at 3 first. What's f at 3? Well, that's going to be 3 cubed minus 3 squared. I'm just subbing 3, the number, into this equation. Plus 3 minus 1. You can use a calculator if you want. 3 cubed is 27 minus 3 squared, which is 9, plus 3 minus 1. I'll use a calculator just to check as I'm going. 27, take away 9, that's 18. Yep, plus 3 is 21. Take away 1 is 20. Now, we're also going to check f at 3.001. Notice, since it's only 1 1,000th bigger, it should be very, very close to 20. If you don't get that, it means probably something you've done has gone wrong. What we're doing here is picking two points that are so close together on our function, it's like we're looking at a specific point. We're going to get the slope between two very close points, which is basically an approximation for the slope at 3. So let's take this second point, sub it in, 3.001. I'm going to put that in brackets now because I want to clearly see all that's cubed. You don't need it if there's no negative, but I'm putting it just so I can clearly see and remember to cube and now square this value plus 3.001 minus 1. All right, calculator. 3.001 to the power of 3. It's 27.027. Nine. Minus. And one thing of note here is that this calculator would have had to have round because when you do power of three, you're supposed to be getting this decimal. You get three decimal places times three decimal places would be six decimal places times three more. You're doing three decimal places times itself three times. Should be nine decimal places. There isn't. So somehow my calculator rounded. Need a rounding dot. Okay, 3.001 squared. Get. 9.006001. That's for this number here. Plus 3.001 minus 1. Okay. Let's use the calculator. 27.027009 minus 9.006001 plus, oh, plus 3.001. Take away 1. What do you get? 263. Great. I must have typed something wrong. I'm going to do it again. 27. I know I typed something wrong because I should be close to 20. I even saw what it was, but I'm going to do it again to make sure. I'm going to type slow now. Let's see what I got. Ah, much better. If I'm only 0 0.001 ahead of 3, my number should be very close to 20, and now it is. 20.022008. All right. So now I come back to my main equation. I take my f value at 3.001. That's 20.022008. And I minus 20 all over 0.001. I'm going to use my calculator to do that. Though you might be able to even do that in your head and see what it's going to be. But let's check it. Take away 20 just gives me that and then divide by 0 0.001, just, just the decimal, three places, and you get 22.008.
We don't put a rounding dot here, only the line that we are a calculator rounded on. The only rounding that occurred was the calculator right on this line for this number. We're done. We've determined the IROC for a polynomial. The instantaneous rate of change is at x equals 3, 22.008. And we've got it.